that we will play the English version, right? Yeah. Right. So people will be able to follow through. Yeah, the I, games come at the moment that people have the choice between German and English, which is um, which is nice. Yeah. But I think for an international audience, it's nicer to have in English. Also, um, at the moment, it's only subtitled in German, but the final game will be fully voiced over in German as well. I see. Um, okay. We should probably let's not just talk appreciate about the voice yeah, over Let's just yeah. appreciate let's, the start. Let's appreciate the cow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, so, I so love the start. I so love it. It's even funnier when you know what's happening. Cryptosporidium one three seven, come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto. To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! So I think it would be interesting if I can maybe give a bit of background. Yeah, please. Yeah. So um, one of the main things we have been focusing for the remake is to actually modernize the controls of the game. We just want to make sure that it feels as good to a player nowadays as it did to players 15 years ago. Um, we also like to say that you don't want to make a remake of the original game, but rather of how the people remember the original game. Okay. So we want to kind of capture that nostalgia, nostalgia as, way, as well. So Crypto has different psi abilities, um, so the brain scan is one of them, um, and it also works on cows, so that's good. <laughs> Primitive, yet profound. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. Mm. At this time, <laughs> we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Ah. Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. So, Psychokinesis was one of the main features of the original game. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure that it still remains the star. Um, but in the original game, it was a bit limited in the sense that you couldn't jump, you couldn't uh, shoot at the same time. So we wanted to make sure that Crypto is able to use all his abilities all right. uh, at the same time. So you can fly, you can shoot. Um, it's much more dynamic this way. And, and it must, makes it much more powerful too, right? Yes, of course. And that's the, the feeling we want to give the player. I mean, uh -huh. he's an alien. Yeah. Yes. He should be more powerful than the puny humans, kind of. So. Oh. Um, for example, here's a little example of like the, the small modernizations we did. That uh, now, if you hit, your shield actually tells you from where you hit. Mm -hmm. So because we wanted to increase the amount of enemies a bit, because you're more powerful, so that you still like have a good idea what's happening around you. I see. 
Yeah, this is the extract brain. Um, you can actually button mash it to make it quicker. Uh, but you also can use it in combat as kind of a fire and forget weapon. So you extract your brain with somebody and you don't then have to care about him anymore because you know in like a few seconds he will be dead. Another addition we did to the game is that we added a focus mode, which allows you to actually uh, target a specific enemy. The main reason we introduced it is one for PK, so that allows you to actually aim directly at somebody when you throw you the items. Um, but also we wanted to make sure that uh, the in-air combat is, is much more direct as an original game. In the original game, it was really hard to actually hit anybody while you were flying around. Mm -hmm. And so this is something we wanted to make sure that this is fun and also doable. <laughs> I see. And uh, you can also see that uh, Stefan Schmidt is um, using the different abilities at the same time in combat. So that was really one of the, the big focus for, for the modernization of the controls. Okay, but this is actually then a little harder to do, right? Because you need to like... I mean, no, not, not really. Not it's really? Still, um, of course, I mean, you should play the tutorial just to know where the buttons yeah. are. Uh, but in our experience, if people pick it up, they, it's rather quick until they understand how this works. So the controls are quite intuitive. Okay, cool. This is not supposed to be a hardcore game. I see. Thanks for the raid, by the way. Like some guys have been raiding our channel here, <laughs> and they, they send them here. So thanks for being here, and uh, I hope you have a good time. Constructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum. <clears throat> um, like, there's another example for like one of the small modernizations that in the original game, as soon as crypto touched water, he was instantly dead. Oh, really? Uh, which was a bit punishing, in our opinion. So, we kind of added a, a certain grace period so you have some time to correct your mistake and actually get out of the water. But if you stay in it, you will die. So, Furons don't like water. I see. Another big aspect They is need to have yep. some kind of weakness, right? Yeah, of so course. <laughs> as he's so super powerful. Um, the whole destruction is another uh, aspect where we really want to make sure that the game shines. Um, so at the moment, not everything is destructible, uh, but we're going to try to make as much as possible destructible for the final game. Okay. Um, of course, we have to keep like performance in mind as well. Um, but you will see it really nicely when we go now uh, into the saucer. And we kept this like this instant transition between ground gameplay and saucer gameplay, uh, which was also already awesome in the original game. We didn't want to change this, so we kept that system. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, the destruction is beautiful. Because this <laughs> again, this again is uh, really important, I think, for the feeling of power, right? Yeah. So this really conveys. I mean, yeah. And I mean, it's it's one major aspect of the original game: the fun and actually, you know, just laying waste to the map. So, and we wanted to keep that for sure and improve on it. Nice. So, for fans of the original game, they will notice immediately that you now can destroy trees as well and things. Like, all of that wasn't possible in the original. You could destroy the buildings, but environment, it was a bit limited, so. <laughs> okay. How did you, <laughs> did you, did you, uh, how did you make, like, a decision on what you wanted to have destroyable or not? Did you, like, dis discuss this and, uh, yeah. okay? I mean, this makes sense. We um, need to do this. Yeah, we just wanted to feel uh, it to feel natural. So if a player thinks he should be able to destroy it, in our opinion, he should be able to destroy it. Okay. Um, of course, there are limitations. We can't always do it to the full extent. But Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them. Now! They're really quick on being there, right? <laughs> you gotta leave them that. Alrighty. I mean, it's it's a fun game. It's it's not a super serious game. It's not meant to be, you know, perfectly logical in any ah. sense. Um, <laughs> you, it must you, make you sense. Don't, you don't say. <laughs> I, don't I mean, say. yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, it's really, but it, that's definitely. Uh, 
But it is also a clear decision in the sense that we want people to, when they come home after school or after work, um, you're a bit tired. You don't want always to play a game that's really complicated that you really have to think a lot about. Okay. Um, this is a game we want you to pick up, have fun, and, uh, you know, not to... It's not, like I said, it's not for a hardcore audience in the sense of uh, it really tests your skills to the limit. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be fun. I would have asked about the difficulty level there. So you'd say it's rather for... Ah, look, look what we got here. Ooh. See, there's something ah. coming up flying to us. So... Oh, maybe you can have a, have a quick, like, <laughs> uh, uh, full screen shot of this one. Hi, who are you? Is this a baby crypto? So this is our crypto backpack that was actually part of one of the limited editions. Ah. And um, this is like the, the first trial one we got now. So uh, we're really looking forward to this, to be honest. Nice. Um, and he kind of sits on your back like Yoda. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> this is uh, just so back. crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a good look of this one. <laughs> nice. Thank right. you. Good. But you can also, if you want to have a closer look on uh, THQ, you have the videos that introduce the limited editions. Yes. It's on the THQ That's website, so check them out. Definitely got to check them out. The paper's got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. Are they still available? Yeah, limited editions? Or are they just... Oh, they, they have just have been announced. Oh, so. they just have been announced. Yeah. I see. Okay. I thought there was a pre-order uh, thing um, that's been going on for a while. No. Not that I'm aware of. I see. Okay. <laughs> cool.